Hi, I'm Karen and I've been hiking around southeastern Arizona a little bit for the last 15 years and a whole lot since 2020. Today I'm going to be hiking down to the San Pedro River. I'm starting at the San Pedro house, hiking down to the river to a couple of the ponds and then looping back to the house. If you're looking for a great place to hike with no elevation gain, this is one of the best places in the area. The San Pedro River is one of the very last free-flowing rivers in the southwest, and this part of it is within the Sprinca, which stands for the San Pedro Riparian National Conservation Area. It received this designation from Congress in 1988 in order to help protect it because it's one of the most important bird migration corridors in the Western Hemisphere. The Sprinca is about two and a half miles wide. It starts at the U.S.-Mexico border and goes north about 40 miles past the San Pedro House, past Charleston and Fairbank, and finally ending near St. David. The river itself eventually joins the Gila River near Winkleman, Arizona. The Mule and Dragoon Mountains are on the east side of the river valley, and the Huachuca and Whetstone Mountains are on the west side. Birds fly up from South America in the spring and spread all around North America and then return south in the fall. Historically, the Clovis people hunted mammoths in this area about 10,000 years ago, and there's evidence of Hohokam, Mogollon, Apache, and Sobaipuri indigenous people prior to Europeans arriving in the 1500s. More recently, in the 1850s, the area became part of the U.S. as a result of the Gadsden Purchase. The land was generally used for cattle ranching, and it went through various owners until the early 1970s, when a company called Tenneco Realty bought the land. Tenneco turned the pastures around the house into irrigated fields growing cotton and alfalfa. It stopped operations around 1980, and later that decade, Congress established a sprinka that I mentioned earlier, and now it's managed by the Bureau of Land Management. What makes the river stand out from the surrounding desert scrubland is the huge cottonwood trees that grow along much of it. A hundred years ago, there were far fewer cottonwoods. The area around the river looked a lot different then, mainly due to floods and overgrazing by cattle. Kingfisher Pond was created years ago when a large hole created by a sand and gravel quarry eventually filled up with water. The San Pedro House itself is a ranch house from the 1930s and is the visitor center for the Sprinca. It takes plenty of help to keep up with the work around the center, and there are a lot of volunteers who do that. This is a really beautiful place to hike, and it can be as short as a half mile walk to the river and back, or many miles along the San Pedro River Trail. That said, be careful during monsoon season. Taller banks along the river can be undercut and in danger of collapsing. The trail immediately alongside the river can be muddy and slippery, and there are a gazillion mosquitoes waiting for you. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you on the next hike.